Hey everybody, welcome to Smoking Steve's. If this is your first time here, normally we're smoking something up, uh, doing a product review, or uh, something crazy, biking, fishing, boating, whatever. We try and mix it up here a little bit on Smoking Steve's. But today, today, I feel like a kid in a candy store. And at my age, that's saying something. I got a hold of the Ninja 11-in-1 Creamy. And they're hard to get. They sell out really quick. And, you know, they cost a little bit of money, but uh, uh, they do a, a lot. They, they make ice cream, uh, Slurpees, Icy's, uh, uh, Cremachinos, a uh, little bit of everything. And it's going to be a lot of fun. But today we're going to go over it, review it a little bit, and kind of compare it, uh, some of the features to the 7 in 1. And, uh, well, for example, let me grab one of these containers. Uh, 11 and 1, the container is uh, 24 ounces, and the uh, 7 and 1 is like 16 ounces. So uh, that's one difference. And plus, there's uh, like 11 functions on the uh, 11 and 1. But anyway, we're going to go over that. Uh, uh, I'm going to show it to you, uh, go over a few things, make a little ice cream. We're going to check it out. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, here it is unpacked. And it was packaged up real well. It wasn't gonna get damaged. Nice looking machine. Here's uh, one container that came with it. Over here we have the paddle and another lid. And uh, inside this guy is another container. Right in there. So we've got two containers and the uh, uh, outer bowl that holds the containers. And over here we've got uh, a quick start guide and a little uh, uh, recipe booklet along with some uh, important safety features. So guys, we're going to uh, check this out, go through uh, some of the uh, modes on it and uh, make a little bit of ice cream and see how it performs Okay guys, here's the paddle that comes with it. It's kind of unique uh, It's a simple process of putting this on uh, just take the lid off There's a little lever right here. You just push that over to the side and uh, to Do that you can see that this opens up here and then when you release it catch right here underneath that lid and that holds it into place. So push the lever over. That's all opened up. Just drop the blade in and release the lever. And it's in there. That's it. And it's a little bit loose. Uh, there's a little bit of play in there but there's no way it's going to come off and uh, hurt anything. So that's all all you got on the uh, blade assembly. Let's go over some of these controls here a little bit. Uh, now this is the uh, Ninja 11-in-1. Uh, there is a 7-in-1, but it doesn't have these features over here. The uh, drink feature, which is a Cremacino, frozen drink, slushy, milkshake, and Italian ice. And over here for uh, on this side, you have uh, ice cream, Light ice cream, sorbet, gelato, and frozen yogurt. And down here, power on button, mix in, and re-spin. Okay, now as far as this container goes, uh, of course we'd have uh, uh, our frozen stuff in one of these containers here and have it inside this guy, the outer container, but when you get ready to make it, you just simply slide that in straight like that, and give it a spin that way to the right, and it raises up and locks into place. Then to uh, get it out, after you go through uh, all your motions and get it all made up, just hit this release button over here, give it a spin, Pull it straight out. 
Okay guys, on these containers, for 11 and 1, uh, you have uh, two different levels here. There you can see it. Uh, one is the scoopable max fill and the drinkable pour in and the freeze line. So for your uh, scoopables, which would be all your ice creams, everything on the uh, uh, left of the dial there, you would fill it up to the max fill on the scoopable. Then the drinkable, you'd uh, fill it up to the freeze line, put it in the freezer, take it out, then you'd pour your liquid in to the uh, pour in line for your drinkables. And your drinkables are all over here on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and get this process going, get us a little mix worked up and get it in the freezer and uh, we're gonna make us some ice cream. Okay guys, we've already mixed up that, uh, that uh, vanilla uh, and we used that recipe right out of the book and we uh, put it in the freezer and it just pulled it out 24 hours, 24 hours later. That weight's a killer, I'm telling you. When you do this, you, you want it instantaneous, but uh, it needs to be in the freezer for 24 hours. Uh, and I do, uh, if you notice, I got a label on here. Uh, down the road, uh, you're gonna have a lot of containers in that freezer probably, and you're not gonna know what's what and, and uh, when it was made and all that. So uh, we got these uh, labels and they're erasable and you can reuse them. So it's great. And I'll have a lot of links uh, underneath the video in the description section where you can check some of this stuff out. But I'm gonna pull this lid off, take a look. And uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of hump there in the middle. And we need to try to level that out before we put it in the Ninja. Uh, it says to have that level uh, so you don't damage the machine. So we're gonna take a spoon to that guy and get it all leveled out. Okay guys, got that all leveled out now so it's nice and level across there. We'll go ahead and drop this in the uh, outer container and we'll be getting that into the the Ninja. Okay, we got it all loaded up in the Ninja. Now it's just a matter of giving this guy a turn. Locks into place, raises up, ready to go. So let's power on. We're gonna select full. And we're gonna select the uh, ice cream right here. You can change that to sorbet, light ice cream, ice cream. So we're going with ice cream, full, and it shows uh, two minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit the start button. It does make a little bit of noise, but it's not too bad. That uh, blade, it's gonna work its way down through the container here. As time goes on, you'll be able to see that blade working its way down. Okay, that blade made it all the way to the bottom. Now it's coming back up to the top. And it did change over to one. So uh, it should be going to zero here shortly and shutting down. Okay, went to zero, shut down. So we can go ahead and pull it out of there and take a look at it. Okay guys, simple process. Just hit this unlock button over here. Give it a spin, and pull it straight out. Now we're gonna take this lid off, take a look. As you can see, it's pretty uh, crumbly in there. Uh, we're gonna have to put it on re-spin. But first, we're gonna mix in our uh, chocolate chips. Okay, guys, before we put our uh, chocolate chips in there, we're supposed to make a hole in the center of this guy, all the way down to the bottom. And that's where our chocolate chips are gonna go. Uh, you don't have to add chocolate chips, but uh, <clears throat> that's uh, what this recipe says, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the chocolate chips. Just put 
Put those right in there. Then we're going to put the lid back on. Put her back in the machine. Give her a spin. It goes up, locks in place. We're going to select full. We're still on ice cream. We're going to hit mix in right here. That's going to mix in the chocolate chips uh, along with the uh, uh, vanilla ice cream. Okay. We got chips mixed in there. It's looking pretty good. Looks like we got a pretty good mix going. Let's check the consistency out here. It's not looking too bad. Uh, I think we will go ahead and uh, put it on respin. Just make that just a little bit creamier. Now it's not uncommon to have to put this on respin. Uh, in most cases, you'll respin it once, maybe twice, to get it to the right consistency. So we're going to hit uh, full again. And over here is respin. Two minutes. So we're going to let that finish up. Put some in a bowl. Be doing a taste test. Okay, here's what she looks like after the uh, mix in and the respin. Looking really creamy. So I'm going to get some of this bowled up. Okay, got a couple little scoops right here in a bowl. Look at that. This is really creamy and it's looking good. Oh, look at this. We're going in. Mm. Mm. Wow. That is some good stuff. Real nice vanilla flavor. Nice and cold, refreshing. A little bit of crunch with them chocolate chips. This is good. Mmm. Guys, as time goes on, we're going to be making a lot of ice cream, a lot of these drinks, and uh, I'm going to have the recipes out here for you to enjoy. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications when I come out with a new video. Like and share. And uh, we're going to be doing some cooking videos. Uh, we're going to be doing some roadhouse steaks here in a few days. Uh, we got a lot coming this way on this channel so be sure to subscribe and uh, ring that bell thanks for watching hope to see you on the next one